Heddi ni'n mynd i wneud bach o printio o adre um, a mae print ni'n mynd i wneud heddi wedi selio ar gwaith celf gan Anthony Gross o'r enw Tangled Undergrowth a oedd y gwaith celf ma um, wedi cael eu cynnwys yn yr arddangosfa a llinell printiedig nôl yn 2019. So today we're making a print from home based on Anthony Gross's artwork for Tangled Undergrowth and um, this appeared in the exhibition The Printed Line back in 2019. So to make this print, you need a print map, you hang in paper, some paper. So this is um, an A3 size paper, but it can be as big or as small as you like. Um, you'll need some, a pencil, sorry, a pencil, a pen and a crayon. I've just used a toddler's crayon here. It can be anything that you've got lying around really, so long as it's, there's a variation um, in, the thin in the thickness so that when you're making the print, it's it'll be more effective. Um, then you will need paint. So we've used oil here, oil paint, but if you don't have that, that's fine. Um, you can also use acrylic. The only thing with acrylic is that it dries quickly. That's why oil is a better better paint to use. But um, so with the acrylic, if you are gonna use it, you'll either need to make your print really quickly before it dries, or if you wanna spend a little bit more time and make it a bit more intric intricate, that's fine. I would recommend adding some water-based um, moisturiser to the acrylic just to um, keep it nice and moist uh, so that you've got a bit more time to, to make your print. Um, and make sure it's water-based as well. Uh, so then you'll need some flowers too. So with the flowers, we happen to have these in the kitchen, um, but you know you don't have to go to the shop especially to have flowers whatever you've got in the garden really we've got whatever you've got lying around they could even be artificial flowers if you've got them um weeds from outside anything um and then you'll also need a lamp a lamp um because what we're going to do is we're going to cast the shadow and we're going to draw in the shadows so i prepare i'd recommend preparing everything in the day and then actually make the print at night when it's dark so that your shadows are more dramatic and also forgot about these you'll need two sheets of paper too so one sheet to put over the this sheet once you've inked it up and then a sheet to put on top of that so that you don't get um your marks that you've made you know on on the paper that, you, that you've used for the printing okay 